This cat's making a bloody good recovery. Boy, is he happy. Puss, puss, puss. Yep, he's one happy cat. I've got a bit of an idea here of yours, well. Had some fun before. Melted a bit of lead of that swarf of that George Day's terminal post set and melted the swarf down. Kept that sort of lead melting experiments eventually. But with this one, since uh, X side are going to take uh, leave the country, might keep this as a souvenir. I'm going to do the same with that one. Carefully cut through here, all the way through. Retain those terminal posts. What I want to do is keep the casing, make it look as untouched as possible on the outside. But inside, I want to put a capacitor bank in there. That'd be cool, a capacitor bank that looks like a car battery. But it would have a lot more kick in it than 700 cold cranking amps. Yeah, I think this is a perfect size battery. It's uh, been flushed out for a while, so I'm gonna do the same, tear that down. This was an um, Exide Endurance 4x4 battery, so the soles in there are gonna have extra um, supports in there. When I first started, when I first flushed it out, little white rubber feet came out of it. And I think they went between the plates to hold them in place, absorb some of the shock. The label came off it. But yeah, it was an Exide 4x4 Endurance 4 inch off battery, so those white things that came out would have been shock absorbers for the plates. They would have had some on the bottom and some on the sides, just to help it um, support the plates a bit during the bumps as you go forward driving. So the, the different technologies will vary when you pull each battery apart. This will also have, should have um, bigger things between the plates as well. Yeah, I don't know. One day I'm gonna just cut it off. Cut the top off, I've got the caps for that too. Cosmetic, cosmetically it should look like a battery untouched. But on the inside, I'll put the um, capacitor bank in there. If I can find ones that fit in those cells, say it'll be one, two, three, 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 and bank them up. Let's say they're, for example, they're 400 volt DC each. Parallel, parallel, parallel. Or I can series parallel them, whatever you want to do. Put the capacitors in there, another bank there, 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 there. And connect them on the outside on these terminal posts with a little screw that goes up with a little clamp on the inside. I put like a block of wood or something in there, screw it there, and a little thing here, screw it down. It'll just hold the top on that way. Yeah. I'm gonna be creative. Or I could uh, jam all the uh, separators out and put my big capacitors in there. Just have it as an empty box, basically. So what I want to do, if it's possible, instead of having those bloody CD spindles, I could uh, these, will, these capacitors will fit inside that um, Exide four-wheel drive battery. If I get some more of those, I could stick rays of those in there. Well, you won't be able to see what I'm doing because the bloody light's off. The camera light didn't click on for some reason automatically, so let's uh, see what I'm talking about. If I buy more of these caps, I could probably fit two of those. Let's see, two of those. And that's how wide the battery is. Hmm. I could potentially maybe fit 10 of those in there. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I'm definitely gonna keep that old battery. Let's see if I can get some more of these. This is one Anthony High One Voltage one that sent me. Some recently came up on eBay. I think it was a pack of six. I think it was 80 bucks or something, but I lost the bloody listing and can't find it. So I have to wait till whoever relists it, if it's the same seller, I'll buy them. Those ones there will fit in the smaller battery. They're consumer electronic ones, as you've seen before. And these are going to go on in that big battery. If I get more of them, yeah, definitely go inside the battery casing, I think. Disguise them as a car battery would be pretty awesome, I reckon. Because I could just connect it to my rectifier to charge it, connect the big clamps to it, and boom. Well, look, look like a car battery, but in disguise. Yeah, definitely, I can fit. Yep, I reckon that's a good idea. Two there, two there, two there, two there. Yeah, try and economise a rib inside there. But I'll think of something, so. That's gonna be a capacitor back inside that, definitely. So stay tuned for that one when I get a chance. I'm gonna hold on to this one. That's what I'm gonna do with it. Capacitor back in there. Anyway, thanks for watching.